Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I hope you had a beautiful Christmas with your family. I hope you stayed warm and you continue to stay warm in this cold winter. It's been really cold here in Dallas. Um, I don't know, wherever you are, wherever you're living, um, stay warm, you guys. And I know so many people around me have been getting sick and it's just not fun. So use some hand sanitizer, stay warm, stay home if you're feeling sick. I'm super, super excited uh, to talk to you guys about a very, very important law, which you should be aware of. You know, it doesn't matter what profession you're in, what career you chose, whatever. As long as you're a human being living on this earth, you need to know about this law because it affects you and it affects those around you. So as you guys can tell, I will be talking about the Good Samaritan Law. But before I get in today's video, you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for this valuable, important information which I'm about to tell you. My whole purpose here on YouTube is to inform you on what law school is like, what on the different laws which you should be aware of and on a lawyer's lifestyle. And I also post fun videos on, you know, pranks and challenge videos. So you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for this awesome video, for some awesome information. I'm talking with my hands super so much. All right, so let's get right into the video. So what is the Good Samaritan Law? Every state enacted this law to protect people when they help another in an emergency situation. So basically this law was created so that a bystander can help another person in need in an emergency situation without fearing that they'll be sued. So you might be wondering, well, why would someone get sued in the first place for helping somebody else in an emergency situation, right? I also thought the same thing until I became a lawyer. <laughs> so the reason why is because the law actually gives way for the victim to bring a lawsuit against the rescuer if the victim was put in a much worse situation than when the rescuer found them. So let's say for example, right? I personally live by examples. That's basically how I got through law school. <laughs> so for example, let's say you witness our car crash, right? It's a very bad car crash and you see somebody in one of the cars and you rush over there because you're scared that the cars might get on fire, this person might get burned really bad, so you rush over there to the car crash, you pull the person out, right? So you think you're doing a great thing, a beautiful thing, but then the next thing you know, that person that you rescued is filing a lawsuit against you because he's paralyzed. You might think this sounds crazy, but guess what? This is not a frivolous lawsuit, and as a matter of fact, this was a real case that was heard in court in California. So in order to avoid such a situation happening, the states created the Good Samaritan Law in order to encourage bystanders to help somebody in need in an emergency situation that they see without having the fear of you know, being sued. Because otherwise, if there was no Good Samaritan law out there, everybody would be scared to help one another in an emergency situation because they're scared that they'll be sued, you know? They might put the victim in a much worse condition than how they were found. So nobody will be willing to help anybody in need and that's not good, which is why the Good Samaritan law was created. But I want to put a disclaimer out there, even though each state has the Good Samaritan Law, each state has a different version of it. So it's very important that you look into the Good Samaritan Law in the state that you live in. Make sure you are aware of it and you know what it says because 
it's different for each state. I remember learning this clear in law school because I was like, wow. And I remember all my classmates were also like, wow, after hearing this. Um, and I remember one common question that we all had, and I'm sure you have too, is, well, what role does a professional play in this? So what role does a professional who have to act in these emergency situations play in this? So I'm talking about police officers, firefighters, doctors, nurses, physical therapists, physician's assistant, you know, all these nurses, all these professionals. What about them? Does this Good Samaritan law apply to them? So are these professionals held liable or are they protected by the good samaritan law the big answer to this big question is once again it depends you guys probably hate me now because i've used that answer so many times but it's so true every time it really does depend and it does depend on whether the professional is on the clock or off the clock so let's say, for example, right, you're a doctor and you're in your shift, you're on the clock and you're taking care of one of your patients. And for some reason, the patient comes back and files a lawsuit against you. Are you protected by the Good Samaritan law in this situation? The answer is unfortunately no. And that is because you're on the clock, you're taking your shift as a doctor, as a professional. And so at this point, you're not protected by the Good Samaritan law and you are prone to being sued on the basis of, you know, whatever it may be, malpractice, you know, negligence, wrongful death, whatever it may be. But let's say if, for example, you're a doctor, but this time you're not working, you're off the clock, it's the weekend, you're out having a nice dinner with your family, a nice steak dinner with your family. I love steak, by the way. <laughs> and, you know, you're just having a nice time. And then all of a sudden, some somebody else in the restaurant just drops to the floor and they're unconscious. And you, being the doctor, you naturally go over there, you rush over there, perform CPR, um, and provide treatment for this person. But unfortunately, you can't revive them, they passed away. Can And then now, can the family of that person file a lawsuit against you? Or are you protected by the Good Samaritan law? So in this case, the doctor is protected by the Good Samaritan law. They are considered a bystander in this situation because they are off the clock. Even though, yeah, they're still a doctor, they're still a professional, you know, who handles and partakes in emergency situations, they were off the clock. So that is exactly what this Good Samaritan Law does, is that it encourages bystanders to provide aid, to provide help in an emergency situation. So I just want to reiterate what a bystander is. So a bystander is somebody who's not on the clock, you're not working in your shift, you know, as like, the professional that you are you're just you just happen to be somebody who is there in that emergency situation just witnessing this catastrophic event that's what a bystander is so the law says that a bystander does not have a legal duty to help some random person in an emergency situation right but the law also encourages through this good samaritan law to help someone in an emergency situation so i hope this video helped i hope you learned something new and if you've never heard of this good samaritan law before i hope that i shed some light um you know on you about this law it's very very important to know no matter what you know what profession you are no matter what you are who you are you know every person should know and be aware of the good samaritan law because it's very important to know your rights right it's very important to know your rights so thank you so much for watching my video hit that subscribe button you guys i'm posting these videos just for you just for you i'm taking time out of my day so that you can stay informed on important laws like this 
which you which nobody really talks about right so hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video with your family with your friends it's super super important to know you guys everybody should know this so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next week